We are at Ascot again. It's the Longine Cigaro Stakes over two miles. It's a group three. Uh, Red Harvest is the 11 to 8 favourite for Leon Van Rensburg. A Ben Hal Habib for Shadwell. McBurney Empire for John. Pat Callian for Steve Rand. Ralphie Nook for Pontypool Racing. Alan Cat Craig for Hems in the hunt for Paul Rhodes. And Starlight Matilda for D. Thompson. Only eight go to post for the Cigaro, but it is a strong field throughout, and they are off. Red Harvest, uh, Abenahal Habib looks to make up the early running. Um, Bernie Empire is also with Abenahal Habib as they stroll in front of the stands. We've got a long way to go here, but Abenahal Habib, now McBurney Empire, has the lead. McBurney Empire takes him along and is quickening up the pace quite quickly and goes about two lengths clear of Pat Callium now. Um, you've also got Ralphie Nook on the outside in the hunt. Further outside of that is Starlight Matilda. Ben Al Habib on the rail with Alan Cat Craig and Red Harvest has been taken to the back of the favourite. But Bernie Empire takes them out round the back and is two to three lengths clear from Pat Kelly and Ralphie Nook. Ben Al Habib on the rail in the hunt. Starlight Matilda, Red Harvest, and Alan Cat Craig has now gone to the back. Bernie Empire is galloping along and the grey is relentless so far and continues to grind out a good lead by about four lengths now. Ralphie Nook, Pat Callium, Ebenahal Habib in the hunt are close to group together. Starlight Matilda just off them and Red Harvest and Alan Cat Craig are keeping each other company at the back. And it is still what Bernie Empire by about four for John Morgan. No signs of stopping. This one, the grey end, the jockey looks like he wants this one to go even further clear and we're looking at a five length gap at the moment. Is this wise? It's an energy sapping run up that Ascot home straight and with a mile to go. McBurney Empire is about five to six clear. Ralphie Nook, Eben Habib and Pat Callium are together. In the hunt is now alongside Starlight Matilda, Alan Cat Craig and Red Harvest are at the back together still. And Bernie Empire shows no sign of stopping going into Swindley Bottom. And it's still about 4 to 5 clear from a Ben Hal Habib who now has second outright from Ralphie Nook. A Ben Hal Habib has decided this lead is too generous and goes after McBurney Empire. So it's McBurney Empire by about two lengths and closing on a Ben Hal Habib. Ralphie Nook is in third. Uh, Alan Cat Craig has made ground to be fourth with Pat Callium, Starlight Matilda in the hunt and there's been no sign of movement on Red Harvest yet. Have they let McBurney Empire have his own way for too long? And McBurney Empire goes into the home straight and continues to increase the lead. It's now back to about three and four, and what a ride this is going to be if McBurney Empire is going to hold on. It was a sweeping move to get to guarantee a full-length lead again on the bend, and McBurney Empire is close to two furlongs away from taking the Cigaro. Ben Hal Habib is about three lengths behind. Star Matilda is now into third. Ralphie Nook and Alan Cackbank. I think they've given themselves too much to do. McBurney Empire has stolen the lead from the beginning and has stolen a leap on the rest of them. And McBurney Empire shows no sign of stopping with about a third on left to go. McBurney Empire is not going to be caught from here. This is a masterclass from McBurney Empire and it's an easy win for John Morgan. Bernie Empire wins from about three lengths to Elben Hal Habib in the hunt staying on from the back for Paul Rhodes. A great ride from the jockey on McBurney Empire. Stole the lead from the front. Gave him a little breather going down into Swindley Bottom and pushed clear with that sweeping move on the bend. Bernie Empire, 7-2. Two and three quarter lengths clear of a Ben Hal Habib. In the hunt, stayed on three for lengths further back for Paul Rhodes, and Red Harvest was fourth. <laughs>